to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. The first key to deconstructing and dismantling wrong, inferior beliefs that keep us in poverty that keep us in failure that keep us in mediocrity the first key write this down please is to recognize and to admit the need for renewal you must recognize and you must admit listen to me knowing that you need help is almost half the problem solved the fact that you are aware the prodigal son came to himself the bible says and here's what he said how many hired servants does my father have and i'm here feeding with the swine he came to himself he was not advised the bible says he said to himself i will arise and i will go to my father and i'll say father i have sinned against you and against heaven and i am not worthy to be taken as your son but take me as one of your servants and while he was coming afar off the father saw him and came and embraced him the responsibility of recognition that i recognize and i realize that i may not have any advantage from a territorial standpoint i recognize and i realize that i may be coming from a background that is largely anti-christ anti-kingdom for instance that recognition that brokenness that contriteness of heart will always attract the spirit of grace and wisdom to you are we together it's true you need to admit that you need renewal that's why the bible says that we should receive with meekness the engrafted word can i tell you this i submit to you people of god there is a lot of pride and a lot of arrogance in the body of christ and across our sociological sphere is the reason why very few people rise pride over mediocrity pride over nothing i'm not being i'm not being sarcastic i apologize if it sounds so but i need to charge you and shake you up listen do not be ashamed and embarrassed when you discover that there is need for a higher dimension that meekness and humility is very powerful there were two thieves with Jesus are we together now and one of them kept ranting and talking nonsense even though he was about to die you see those kinds of people at the point of death he was a thief he was aware that he was a thief he was aware of what he stole and he didn't sound contrite at all mocking Jesus and the other one said mr. man shut up we stole we're aware of what we did this man is innocent and Jesus heard him there is there is something about the voice of brokenness there is something about the voice of genuine meekness no matter how wrong you are no matter how confused you are the moment you are broken and you are contrite you are attracting the attention of his majesty he said this day you will be with me in paradise you need to admit the need I had a conversation not too long ago with one of our fathers in this nation and um, when we spoke we spoke for a few hours and when he began to open me up to dimensions in ministry saying so many things sharing from years of experience I sat there feeling like a toddler I sat there feeling like someone who was just getting out of kindergarten and I said bless God for this encounter this is the kind of exposure that I need be careful be sure that you are not your best reference 
it is dangerous you must find a way of finding yourself in an atmosphere that stretches you pat your back very briefly and yet tells you that there are higher heights though we are few we're surrounded by men who have crossed that river before and this is the song we'll be singing forever Listen, this is very powerful. Stretch yourself. You've done so much, wonderful. But then God immerses you in an environment that stretches you. I remember the first day I watched Benny Hinn, I said, my God, what is this? I remember when I watched some of the generals, even though God was already doing great things in and through my life, I said, what is this? I had the opportunity to meet a few of them before they went to be with the Lord. Some of the, you know, those who met them, not God's generals now. But it was, it was amazing what they did to my spirit. I continue to press this one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind. They don't have to be wrong things. Beware of excessively patting yourself at the back. Do so and then quickly. Champions are always forward thinking nobody claps for you for the same thing twice when they clap for you once that's it if you have nothing new there will be no applause again are we blessed so you must recognize and admit the need for renewal number two there are times that you may need to cast the demons and the spirits that keep the faulty mindset second corinthians chapter 4 and verse 4 you must cast there there are real spirits that can build the bible says in whom the god of this world please look up hath blinded their minds it was not a philosophy that blinded their minds there is a real spirit that blinds the minds of people let me tell you this did you know that just because you are looking it doesn't mean you are seeing yeah the bible says that when those men who wanted to sodomize um lot remember now lot gave his daughters and they said no 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 we want lot the bible says that the angels caused blindness to come on them and they wearied themselves in front of the door they were right in front of the door but they could not see the miracle of open eyes the Bible says the God of this world, you can pass opportunities, you can pass relationships, but because there are spirits that blind the eyes of people, they will make you call good evil. You will call evil good. They will make you destroy the helpers of your destiny because you cannot see. He said, open down my eyes that I may behold. There are times you need to take authority in the name of Jesus and cast those spirit influences. Every good thing that comes into your life, something happens and until you fight it, you are not at rest. So your life is surrounded by the memory of good things and good people who keep passing through your life like ushers. You must sustain the grace to take authority over the spirits that cause these things. Bazanji Soroba number three how do you pull down these strongholds the renewal of the mind what does that mean passionately pursuing to know god's perspective about life listen to me there is an intention to renewal and transformation you must passionately pursue God's perspective we study the Bible because it contains the wisest perspective 
about life about everything you have to know God's perspective about life about finances about everything in life it's called the renewal of the mind Romans chapter 12 from verse 1 and 2 it says do not be conformed it says I beseech thee brethren by the message of God that you offer your bodies a living sacrifice it says holy and acceptable unto God he calls it your reasonable act of service or worship verse 2 says do not be conformed to this world is the word aeon the thinking pattern that comes with the system he says but be ye transformed evolve into superior dimensions of yourself by the renewing of your mind you must trust God and refuse your current level. Lord, I am tired of this level. I'm tired of the limitations, the mediocrity, that, the mediocrity that comes with this level. The problem was never the oil. It was the space that the vessels gave the oil. The prophet diagnosed it accurately. He said, you call the oil small because it was a small vessel carrying the oil. The oil was hearing the conversation. He says go and borrow vessel you don't borrow oil but you can borrow vessel buy the truth sell it not he says go and borrow borrow not a few when he began to pour the oil to the vessels the oil kept increasing he said go and sell it pay your debt and leave off the rest are we together now when you read job chapter 29 job was giving us the secret of his outstanding life and he began to give us a a a breakdown of the many things that happened to him the first light that came upon job was on his mind not on his path there are two dimensions of light there is the one that shines upon your head there is the one that shines on your path the one that shines upon your head recalibrate reconstructs your understanding is called the mind of christ philippians chapter 2 and verse 10 it says permit this mind to be in you which was also in christ jesus there was a belief system that the son of the living god had that made the holy spirit comfortable living with him from age 12 while his contemporaries were running around he was with the scribes and the pharisees learning learning it was on the strength of his spiritual investment that he could withstand satan at the wilderness because he came to him it is written he came to him it is written he came to him it is written you must be full not just of scripture from a religious standpoint but it is important to know god's perspective please look up the kingdom has god's idea on everything God has his idea on kingdom, wealth, and prosperity. The world also has his idea. The world's ways that you can cheat, you can kill if need be. You can tell lies, you can be greedy, you can be involved in anything provided money comes. But the kingdom has its way. You must learn the ways of God. There is Jesus the way. The methodology of the kingdom. The authorized channel. He said, I am the door. A door means an authorized access point. Please listen carefully. And so, hitherto, when you were alienated from the commonwealth of Israel, you were not saved. You were not born again. You could do anything anyhow. But now you are in the kingdom. And you begin to study the ways of God. Then you learn that there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth the ways of God. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. You learn that God can load men with daily benefits, not just monthly benefits. Are we together now? Yes. You learn that the proof of his fatherhood is his benevolence. That if you've been evil, know how to give good gifts. So the, the awareness of the fatherhood of God gives you the confidence to approach him. You must learn the ways of God. In the kingdom, there is how God restores. In the world, there's no restoration. If it's gone, it's gone. Ah, but hallelujah, in the kingdom, there is a way. And I will restore even time, the years. God doesn't just restore things. God restores time. 
so when jesus died while they were talking about the dead jesus within 72 hours he was back to life this is a blessed hope for us that means that all of the things you would have achieved that your knowledge or your insufficient knowledge did not allow you to achieve that the hand of God is able to go back into your yesterday and take everything there and bring it forward to your tomorrow this is scripture but you must learn the ways of God your confidence in this kingdom is when you sustain a superior belief that is culture not just based on Scientology or the philosophies of men you are transformed to the degree that you have the mind of Christ in experience are we together it is true that we live in a dark world that is full of evil it is true that there are arrows that fly by day but then you are convinced you are convinced that the jealousy of God has such his investment upon you the Bible says where your treasure is that is where your heart will be and if you are truly his treasure that means his heart and his jealousy has been invested towards you this gives you confidence hmm. that when men say there is a casting down for me I can say there is a lifting up it's not just some Christian jargon this is truth based on the mind of God ah, that the wisdom of God is at work in me it is true this is the mind of Christ you have to believe it do not think this is childish you ignore this it will be to your peril deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1 the mindset of the kingdom and it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord to do and observe all that i command you this day it says the lord will set you on high this is my destiny in christ i sustain that mindset from whatever background and regardless any situation that he will set me on high above nations not above contemporaries above nations verse 2 it says and all these blessings shall come upon me and even overtake me this i believe this i believe huh. exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 I'm showing you pieces of scripture that reflect the mind of Christ and I will give Joshua Selman favor in the sight of anybody including enemies of Egyptians and the proof is that when you go you will not go empty I believe it the Bible says strangers shall feed your flock this is God's mindset listen you have to choose what to believe this is not just some Pentecostal thing no believe me this is how the kingdom was framed it says through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of god many people keep arguing this and they are failing they are broke they are mediocre they are going down they are sick nothing is happening in their lives superior belief systems cultured by the word of god when I get up in the morning, I say, this is the day the Lord has made. My emphasis is the Lord has made. Who made the day matters to me. Because I need to know if my interest was represented in that day. And if it is the Lord that made that day, I am secured. Because I know what the Lord can make. He is the maker of the heavens and the earth. So if he made a day, a thousand shall fall by my right, he said. 10,000 by my right side but he says I need not fear why I will only stand and watch and see the reward of the wicked my Bible tells me that the fullness of my days I will fulfill this is what I believe you can't imagine I was saying it humorously somewhere you can't imagine the number of text messages I get quite honestly apostle be careful I just had a vision and I saw your name in a shrine and I know they are not lying it will be foolish to think at this level the devil will be clapping to no but did the bible not say behold i give you authority 
over snakes and scorpions he said and over all the powers of the enemy and then he said nothing here's the keyword shall by any means there are many means many means but he says shall by any means your realities are framed by what you choose to believe are we together now yes sir so you must make up your mind it is not about I am a Yoruba person. It is not about I am an Igbo person. It's not about I am a Hausa person. I'm a Northerner. I'm an American, a European, Asian. No, no. The Bible says we have been called out of every tribe, every tongue, every kindred, immersed in the kingdom, baptized into Christ through his spirit. And you must sustain that superior belief system. Listen to me. There are many of you respectfully speaking and please don't feel insulted. You have been in this city for many years and the city does not know you. Why? Because it, there is a belief system that makes dominion work. You have to know what you believe. You have to choose what you believe. I made a covenant with God and this I believe. I found out from scripture that Jesus never met anyone twice for the person to be blessed. And I made a covenant with God. I said, Lord, you are sending me to minister to people. May I never have to meet someone twice for his life to change. Yes, sir. Because you will meet people who are at a point of life and death. There's no time for playing games and dilly dally. The messianic prophecy, Isaiah 61, the Bible says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, upon me, upon me, upon me. It's a revelation. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. It's not trouble that is upon me. God told me what is upon me. Whatever he did not say, there are yokes that can come on people. But he told me what is, that if I ever feel heavy, what is upon me is the spirit of the Lord. This is my thinking. So there's no room for depression to say this is upon uh, 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 uh. The Bible tells me, if you ever feel anything upon you, it is the spirit of the Lord. And then he says, help them please. He says, he hath anointed me. I truly believe I am anointed. Find a way of believing this. This is not a pastor's thing. This is not a minister's thing. Let me tell you what it means to be anointed. It comes from the word to be smeared with oil. But that simply means authorized anointing is a system of authorization it legitimizes your operation so that you can minister the power of god these are ordinary hands yes my family members are here my sisters are here biological people but when i met him something happened to me and i believed it i believe that i'm not ordinary Look, I'm not bragging, forgive me. I am, I'm revealing something to you. When you hold that file, it's not five fingers that is holding that file. Uh -uh. Please find a way of believing what I'm telling you. Help them, please. For as long as you are the only one holding that file, a door will never open. For as long as you are the only one preaching, your, your words cannot carry that power. The ability of the spirit your words become like arrows sent into destinies dissecting impossible situations why because you are aware I read in my Bible Jesus said it and I believe and the Lord walking with them confirming the word with signs so I expect it that whilst I am teaching, whilst the word of God is coming, there is an unction, Kali's Kebarata, an unction healing, an unction delivering, an unction opening doors. This I believe. This is the supernatural power of a transformed mind. Your mind can give the Holy Ghost space. When the man of God was leading us in worship here, one of the things I was praying for is, Lord, help your people understand what you have done to us. 
help us understand that we are not ordinary this is not a pentecostal thing these hands are not ordinary hands hear me doctors hear me medical people that is not only an injection an injection should not have more power than your hand believe me when i tell you this exalted reigning and ruling with him in power we have been commanded to bless and i believe you hear people come and testify here let me tell you this i've told you that prophecy does not only reveal it's not only when i call names of people and numbers no that if it is true you are anointed then the opening of your mouth is like the opening of the gate of men's destiny because you will release something from the throne through your mouth to the destinies of men and let me use the opportunity and declare over someone in the name of jesus the son of the living god i speak over your life and all that concerns you step into new dimensions of the spirit new wine upon your destiny new dimensions of spiritual illumination in the name of jesus christ hear me let me speak over your life that any man who fights you goes down instantly please sit down we're about to pray shortly Enter the new, says the Spirit of God. Enter the new. I'm bringing you into the new. Shalindes teneka paharande shadia. Pragades kili manakatosia. Enter the new. Mantedes kebarita. Pegadebele ketebarakatosia ta. Enter the new. Stay at the spirit of the Lord. Listen to me. Please hear me. If you are in ministry here, in the name of Jesus from tonight, Step into a supernatural dimension of ministry. No more preaching and sharing the grace with people sleeping as though you is not God that is talking to you. What kind of a ministry is that? The next time you go to lead that prayer, the next time you go to lead that fellowship i'm speaking by the spirit the next time you go to your prayer group the next time you lead the the, the fellowship at your workplace i release an unction upon you i release an anointing upon you you will speak with fire you will see signs following in the name of jesus christ the spirit of god the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Hear me, business people. Listen to me. It takes more than buying and selling to prosper. There is truly a grace that can help men. There is a grace that can give men visibility in this kingdom. It's called the hear ye him anointing. The anointing that compels systems and structures to acknowledge the workings of the spirit on your life i don't care how limited your business has been in the name of jesus from tomorrow i stand by the grace of god i place an unction upon what you do and in the name of jesus let it prosper by the spirit of the living god defying the laws of failure i release you to prosper
Hallelujah. Listen. We're talking about mindsets and strongholds. Please listen to me. It's not enough to just receive Jesus into your heart. You have to journey with the Holy Ghost and through scripture to begin the work of transformation. It's one of the hardest, if I would use that expression, assignment of the Holy Ghost in the life of a believer because most believers are not malleable enough. Every time I'm before him, I tell him, Lord, I'm, I'm before you. I'm aware of my limitations. I'm aware of my limitations. I ask that there be an exchange, a supply of strength and power. There are so many sick people depending on my life. There are so many confused people. Grant grace from heaven. Solomon Lange called him my helper. Mete makona, mete makona. Listen to what you are saying. Mete makona, mete makona. Basanji soroka, mete makona, mete makona. Basanji konya ba, mete makona. Listen to me. For some of you, you may not know what has come upon your life. It's until you step out of this place tonight. All of a sudden, you will watch doors open. Supernatural doors open. You will open your Bible and a strange dimension of illumination, revelation knowledge coming upon you. Hear me. Everything he said here is true. You can believe it. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the works that I do, you shall also do. He says, greater works. I believe him. I sincerely believe, I sincerely believe that I can never be disadvantaged. Honestly, honestly, I believe it. When the Lord sent me to this city, the Holy Spirit instructed me to get the map of Abuja. And when I dropped the map on my table, I said, this city is so small. It's not pride. All of a sudden, I saw just six local governments. We are well able. Joshua and Caleb. The remaining came back with all kinds of reports. The Bible calls it evil reports. You have said many things about yourself God did not tell you. You have received many things that were not given by God. It's time to change it tonight. It's time to refuse. It's time even if you are the first person who does it from your family. There is grace for you. Is someone ready to pray tonight? Lift your voice and begin to pray all across this building. Pray in the spirit for one minute. Go ahead and pray. Koinonia, pray. All the overflows, pray. Outside, pray. Pray. Someone pray over your life. Casting down every imagination. Go ahead and pray. I tear down wrong mindsets. 
that came from culture i tear down wrong mindset in the name of jesus i tear down wrong mindset that came from my past i tear down wrong mindset in the name of jesus i adopt the mind of christ the winner's mind the victor's mind the winner's mind the victor's mind the winner's mind the victor's mind Listen to me. Listen to me. The next prayer point. You are going to confront head on every challenge that has stood before you and mocked the God of the Bible. I release my faith with you in this corporate atmosphere. Call it by name and command it by the Spirit. Get out of the way. It's time to advance. It's time to make progress. Someone pray. Someone pray. Financial mountains. Someone pray. Mountains of spiritual laxity, mountains of prayerlessness, mountains of wordlessness. I want you to make very powerful declarations don't be afraid the bible says let the redeemed of the lord say so let the healed of the lord say so let the lifted of the lord say so let the anointed of the lord say so and whatsoever adam called it that was the name thereof are you ready to speak over your destiny and over your family lift your voice and begin to speak i prophesied as i was commanded i decree and declare the lord is my light and salvation are you declaring by the spirit of god my path is as a shining light shining ever brighter please don't be quiet don't be silent i decree and declare by the spirit of god prophesy your global disability prophesy your increase Prophesy your prosperity, declare by the spirit of grace. I rise by the spirit of God. Greater levels of prayer, greater levels of passion, greater levels of fire, greater levels of love, appetite for spiritual things. In the name of Jesus, going from glory to glory, grace to grace. Grace multiply, wisdom multiply, power multiply.
Hallelujah. 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 Two more prayer points that were done. Let me tell you this. We are about to pray. You are going to call back everything that left you and yet is not in God's divine purpose to leave you. The Bible says, where fell it? Alas, master, for it was borrowed. And he threw a stick and the axe head came back. Help them, please. Listen to me. The Holy Spirit is ministering to me. You have to sustain a superior mindset that everything that lives your life is still in the earth and there is a technology to call it back to your life relationships opportunities are you ready to pray lift your voice in the name of jesus help them please help them please and i will restore to you the years that the canker walk, the palmer walk has eaten. Command restoration over your destiny. Command restoration over your life. Command restoration over your prayer life. A greater dimension of prayer fire. A greater dimension of God's fire. A greater dimension of spiritual diligence. Nothing missing, nothing broken. I have a covenant of peace. Call it forth by faith. You're not wasting your time. Call it forth by faith. Call it forth by faith. Call it forth by faith. I call back my honor by faith. I call back my lifting by faith. I call back the fire of my destiny by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me. We're about to round up. Listen to me. I'm a student in the school of the spirit and I have learned and I have come to respect the power of the anointing. It is truly what is on you that controls what is around you. It is true. And for every time you come to this ground, there has to be something that will rest upon your life. It says, my horn has thou exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed. Salah Selei Marahaskiya. I am anointed. I am anointed. I am authorized. Authorized to do business. Authorized to do ministry. Authorized to advance. The power of the Holy Ghost is a reality that we must embrace. It says, For with God, now unto Him who is able to do exceeding abundantly far above all that we ask or think according to the power is the word energies that works in us there is an energizing of the spirit hallelujah listen i'm about to speak over your life 
there are words that are empty there are words that are informative but there are words that are traced they carry deep mysteries on them hallelujah madam what is your name this woman on black huh what's your name come who is Choma? what's your what's her name huh who is Choma? your Choma, madam please just give me five minutes look at me where are you coming from you're here in Abuja I want to pray for you your life is truly about to change you believe in Jesus did you come alone I came with my sister where is she because it's two of you God is visiting the entire family where is the person Lord you took my pain away and then you gave me joy you're my peace my melody in the center of the storm you gave me a breath to say to you that's why I will be hallelujah Ijioma this is what I'm hearing who is that Ijioma what's your name what's your name Ijioma Taking the pain and the sorrow You've given me peace on the night No need to cry cause you always with me There is a grace for favor, madam, that is coming on you Shout Jesus as loud as you can Jesus! Take that grace now, in the name of Jesus May that grace take you to realms, superior realms in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, hold your hands together. Truly speaking, let me tell you, I give you now and the next one month, the way God is going to shift all of you. I stretch my hands, take that grace. Right now in the name of Jesus, you step into superior dimensions of favor. This is by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please don't come out at random, our time is gone. Our time is gone. We are yet, we are yet to have our first miracle service in Abuja, and I, I, I'm not sure we may do it this month. But by the grace of God, would have by His grace soon our first miracle service here, where we we'll allow the Lord to move in ways and stamp down darkness once and for all. Hallelujah. The power of God is going to come on one of you. This four ladies looking at me. I'm seeing oil being poured upon you. New dimensions in the spirit. This is what the Holy Ghost is telling me. In the name of Jesus, I bless every one of you and I pray for you. Even by the power of the Holy Spirit, you will never return the same. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never return the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me talk to one more person. James. Who is James? I'm hearing the word James. Who is James? You are wearing like a green nose mask or something like that. James. Who is that? What's your name? What's your name? What do you do, sir? I'm a pastor. You're a pastor? Yes. Where? In Kubwa. In Abuja here. Yes. Your own ministry. Yes. Can I pray for you? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God, I stretch my hands. There is, there, there is still a need for many, many, many servants of God doing great things. And I tell you, the days of superstar christianity in terms of exclusivity and fighting other people those days are over we're united force in the name of jesus regardless our differences doctrinally etc we are one big army advancing the kingdom can i have a believing amen i pray for you sir may the lord empower you you return back to your assembly a sign and a wonder in the name of jesus the christ amen. of god I decree and declare fresh grace, Amen. fresh power upon you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. My brother, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. In Jesus' name. That which has never been done, even in your family, may my God use you to do. Amen.
in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Sir. Now, I don't I don't do politics in church. I don't I try as much as possible to not do I love lands you in a lot of trouble. But sir, I will talk to you, but I'm seeing you climb a ladder in politics. There is a strange, the, this, is, this is even just the beginning. This is what God is doing. That, that's something we'll discuss on a personal basis. But I'm telling you that do not plateau. You are just about to rise. There is a great destiny for you, even politically. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please bring me someone who shouts now loud under the anointing. The hearing of everyone let me just talk to that person and we're done so here you are from christ embassy who is that i want to pray for you i'm seeing that you're a pastor you're from christ embassy sir look at me i want to pray for you in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god what do you do sir I'm a lawyer and also a pastor. You're a lawyer and a pastor. Yes, sir. Don't feel bad. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a man on chains from head to toe. This is what I'm seeing. A lawyer and a pastor. But in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, I declare, I stretch my hands. Let it come to an end now. Everything that represents captivity, I release grace upon you, sir. Amen. You will go back and you will do exploits in career and in ministry. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. If, is, there, is there a pastor like that? Is there someone like that? You're a pastor? I'm not seeing a pastor, but I'll pray for you anyway. But you're, you're a pastor? Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will carry superior dimensions of the giftings and the grace of God. Where is that pastor? You are, you are a worker here. Pastor in Christ's embassy. Or I don't know if you were or was or something. Oh, it's you. Where is your... You, you are here alone where is your wife wife come quickly please there is an oil there is a grace that is coming upon you God is not done with you both of you I stretch my hands by the Spirit of God and I pray for you both this is what the Lord is revealing to me there is a dimension of the healing ministry that God wants to bring you into receive that grace take that anointing both of you will walk in superior dimensions of the healing grace i release that anointing from today step into it it's an impartation by the spirit of grace in the name of jesus christ experience the hand of god in the name of jesus every other person who is in ministry here step into supernatural dimensions of results in the name of jesus christ supernatural dimensions of results very quickly very quickly the greatest encounter that you can have listen carefully is an encounter shortly more than miracles more than most thing i am the way he said yeah in the main auditorium and all the overflows down and the overflow outside and those watching you are here and you're saying apostle hearing you teach hearing you talk hearing and seeing the one some of you you are saying that well I, I get now aside from those here and those at the gallery every other overflow inside and outside i will request that you move to your projector screens and then those inside here you belong to any of those categories please make your way gallantly as we clap for them god bless you god bless you don't wait for someone to be the first to come. Be the first. Take that bold step and come. In the name of Jesus, let's appreciate them. There are people here. There has to be someone who God is calling because he adds daily as many as should be saved. If there's someone there, please appreciate them as they come. God bless you. God bless you. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? 
celebrate them as they come to Jesus. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The face of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.